हाईलाइट चैनल ऑफ द रणवीर शो दिस इज टी आर एस क्लब्स महाभारत वाई डज इट फैसिनेट यू आई थिंक इट शोज it's so contemporary despite it being such an ancient yeah. text uh, and i think it is uh, it gives the entire gamut of human emotions hum it's a it's a treatise of every possible thing mm. uh, human psychology state craft leadership diplomacy leadership warfare every aspect of human life deceit uh, you know uh, interpersonal relationships mm. family bonds what what is virtuosity like ramayan is a is a very linear thing everybody is goody goody in that right I, uh, ideal son ideal husband ideal father ideal mother here nobody is ideal mm. uh, right from the <laughs> everybody is uh, so it's almost very uh, like the greek plays of its contemporary times uh, there are multiple shades to uh, to human uh, you know emotions and that's why that's the beauty of contemporaryness because it may be 4000 5000 years old or how many ever years old uh, people keep debating about dating the mahabharat and so on there's so many scholars who do that uh, that apart ami ganatra wins every debate <laughs> so there's another dr manish pandit who uh, has dated based on astronomy like yeah. you know in the 18 days war uh, there's apparently lots of details as to what nakshatra was in what constellation and this and that and i i'm not an expert on any of those i believe they've dated it back to about 3000 bc three, yeah. Yes, yes. I think that's his estimate also. Mm. So, despite it being so separated in time and space today, uh, you know, Adhritarashtra's blind love for his uh, son, whether or not he was uh, capable or incapable, the friction among the Pandava brothers, uh, um, you know, even when the, there's a wife uh, there, so many. I mean, you uh, you can go on the role of Shakuni and how he, uh, you know, ruined the whole family of the Kuru's. all these aspects are as evergreen today and i think the beauty of any text and its importance is the timelessness of it mm. uh, and that human beings will essentially remain the same whether they was in 3000 bc or 3000 uh, you know ad mm. uh, that we will still have the same lust the same avarice the same goodness also the same and it's a nice combination of all of that a yudhishthir who is supposed to be the uh, you know epitome of virtuosity then there's a bhim who's an ep- this thing of raw you know power arjun who's a combination of all those things good uh, and there's duryodhan this so karan who's again a you know a character who's uh, like a fall guy tragic hero uh, kunti who eventually i mean the mother who will even go and ask her son whom she has forsaken to sacrifice for the son who is her legitimate son so all there's no there's no good or bad there's nothing legal there's nothing right or wrong everything is allowed in this and the centerpiece of that is krishna who's uh, kind of making all these people play around mm. uh, and it ends in such a tragedy after so much of war so much of destruction people are then contemplating as to what did we fight this war for and then the way the pandavas end their life where they're all ascending from on that hill and all that they have is a dog who follows them up and as a dog lover that really warms my heart that it was a dog uh, who crossed even you know the great arjun and draupadi and bhim and everybody uh, to the gates of heaven uh, i think after that then the futility we spoke about spirituality and why at some point you'd want to renounce everything and go away so they fought a war killed their own uncles and cousins and everything and then at the end of it everything is something that is to be renounced so i think the gamut of emotions is so vast and it's a textbook to understand human human beings mm. and human minds human psychology which is timeless simple question you believe it happened i think so i really don't know completely but i i think, I think there was definitely some war and then yeah. all these things happened yeah uh, of course it's been glamorized a little bit there's been layers of possibly science fiction added on top of it possibly maybe there was some technologies that existed that time yeah uh, no no 
see i th- I, th- i think so uh, when we say itihasa in our uh, indian context as i'd explained earlier it meant it thus happened the three texts which i mean the three branches of itihasa in india are the ramayana the mahabharata and the 18 puranas uh even in the mahabharat uh, the uh, bhishma parva the shanti parva they have several uh, verses which talk about the janapadas of those times uh, you know and also the uh, different commu- communities that inhabited india uh, and it and a lot of it is uh, very similar to the india we see today mm. they talk about karnataka they talk about kuntala which was um, you know telangana area they talk about vidarbha they talk about magadha the bihar uh, bengal all these places and the kind of uh, communities that inhabited including yavanas uh, uh, you know mlechas all these people who were there uh, so it is an anthropological study of the india of the times so the history that was written in india we are always criticized that we did not have a concept of writing history which is wrong because we had a very unique uh, way of writing history and the philosophy itself to what history needed to do uh, there's a very famous shlok which is attributed to what uh, history needs to do it says dharmartha kama mokshanam upadesha samanvitam katha yuktam puravrittam itihasa ta chakshmate which meant that puravrittam or the narratives of the past told to you in a katha yuktam in a story format which helped in so what's the purpose of history it is to in the attainment of the four purusharthas of dharma artha kama and moksha that which and there also needs to be an upadesha samanvitam there has to be a didactic element there has to be advice a moral fabric uh, for society of what is right what is wrong what is virtuous what is anything that does all of this itihasa ta chakshmate that is called history which is a narrative of it thus happened uh, so you know it was not just a dry catalog of events events and you know who succeeded whom how we study it and cram it in our mm. schools but then there had to be storytelling so it may appear like uh, you know science fiction and all kinds of uh, flying objects and going all over the place but in the middle of all this drama there was a kernel of truth and those who can extract that truth um, can do that but for a lay person it had to give all these other things it has to be interesting it has to be inspiring it has to be educative and it has to also give you the do's and don'ts rights and wrongs of uh, you know uh, human existence uh, very very self assured self confident and clear perspective of what history is and what its objective is uh, which is the indic uh, you know uh, perspective to history writing itself and its purpose so these are playlists made especially for you we've tailor made learning experiences for you the rs clips